Hi, welcome to Mantra Test. This is a demo of a fault in the protective earth of a piece of electrical equipment. Appliances like your electric heater, a toaster and your computer all have an earth wire in them. One of its purposes is to keep you safe if something goes wrong with said electrical gizmo. Pretend for a minute that this bit of cable is from your toaster or other doodad. We've cut away the insulation to show you its insides. The other two colours are the live and the neutral wires, but we're looking at this one here, the green and yellow earth wire. If a cable gets damaged, like in a door or against a hard edge, the copper core on the wire, these strands you see here, can break. With several broken strands, the heart of the cable has to work to conduct electricity down the unbroken ones. This is what it'd look like inside the insulation when you're down to a few good strands. When we test for safety in the protective earth, we can do a hard or a soft test. The hard test puts through a really high current, and the soft test puts through a low current. The low current is safe for sensitive gear like computers. But don't worry, the hard test, even though it's a high current, it's not enough to damage your equipment. Here's our soft test. Passes just fine. No sweat. Despite the extensive damage, the tester passed it because it isn't really testing the strength and integrity of the earth wire. Now, here's the hard test. The hard test blew it away. We found a serious fault with the hard test that the soft test didn't reveal. If this had been an appliance you were holding when that fault happened, it's pretty likely that you could have been electrocuted. And that could be fatal. Let me sum this up in a really short version. You can test anything with a soft test. Because it's an easy test to pass, often equipment will pass even if there is a fault. A hard test will actually put some stress on the earth and reveal a problem if there is one, potentially saving you or the office beagle from getting zapped. That's it. I'll go on to explain the tech stuff for you now. What we're talking about is a standard test done during equipment checks, and it's called the earth bond or earth continuity. It's a check to ensure a proper connection and the integrity of a piece of equipment. Protective earth testing can be classified at two distinct levels. A low current IT test at 200 milliamps, which is the soft test, and a high current 10 or 25 amp test, which is our hard test. This falls in line with the current compliance in the ASNZS 3760. The test current needs to run for a measurable duration to get a proper measurement. In practice, this is usually three to five seconds at a maximum of 12 volts. Low current testers are incapable of testing at 10 or 25 amps and they meet current compliance standards by only executing an earth continuity test. We think of it as an IT standard because it doesn't put sensitive electronic equipment at risk. This is a non-stress test that doesn't check the integrity of the protective earth. Our experience says that this is enough to ensure that the test equipment is necessarily safe. Should a piece of equipment catastrophically fail, many potentially hazardous situations can occur, putting people at risk. For non-IT equipment, we recommend to carry out an earth bond test at 25 amps, instead of our 200 milliamps. To safely stress the earth conductor to make sure it can handle a fault current should a fault occur. For IT equipment, a 200 milliamp soft test is adequate. It ensures that the tested equipment is undamaged by testing. For non-IT equipment, it's better and safer to conduct a more thorough 25 amp hard test than to simply meet the minimum compliance requirement. There is a wide range of test equipment out there, and while inexpensive units are capable of a 200 milliamp IT test, only some are capable of executing both a hard and a soft test. If the unit you're looking at buying has got a 200 milliamp, a 10 amp, and a 25 amp under earth on its spec sheet, it's capable of performing a proper earth bond check for safety as well as compliance on all types of equipment. Thanks. Be safe.